Hey everyone, thank you so much for stopping back by. I am Tia. Today we're gonna have some fun with the makeup palette, but before we get into it, let me just say, I hope you've had a fantastic week up to this point. I hope the rest of the week is even better for you. If you've not had a fantastic week so far, I hope that you do something wonderful for yourself today. You absolutely deserve it. Just take out a few minutes of your day to give yourself what you need. And even if your week has been going fantastic, treat yourself. You deserve that as well. So if you are new here, welcome. My name is Tia. I review beauty products and lots of fragrance, lots and lots of fragrance. But I also talk about fibromyalgia and writing and a little bit of whatever comes to mind. And if you're not new here, welcome back. Always good to have you. Now, today we are reviewing a palette. This palette cost me a whopping $5 at a discount store called Gabe's, where I also picked up a bunch of $4 perfumes. Other videos for that, maybe. I mean, it just depends on the perfumes, really. I haven't tried them all yet. This is by Malibu Glitz. It is their Outshine palette. It has 24 colors, eye and cheek. So... I opened it up and I love the colors actually. I've already taken the plastic off, but I've not swatched any of them. You can see they've got some good colors in here and this could be a lot of fun. Now, it was originally $8.99. It does not have a mirror. So I think that the price is reasonable considering there's no mirror in here, which this would have been much better used in this space to have a mirror instead of eyeshadow and cheek and blush guides because honestly you really don't need that you've got youtube right so what i'll be doing today i can already tell you i'm not a fan of most of the blushes but this one right here intrigues me because it's the name of it's red at admiral i can't talk i always get tongue-tied on camera god anyway it's red admiral it is somewhere between red and orange. I'm really looking forward to swatching that as well as these two highlights, though these are nice, to be fair. These two are nice, but I'm really looking forward to getting in the camera. <laughs> White Peacock and Swallowtail. Um, but then I'm gonna swatch some of the darker colors, definitely this glittery one. And I'll swatch some of these lighter colors as well. I'll bop around and I'll tell you what everything is. My hands are clean. So I'll be swatching on both, okay? So how have you all been doing? I hope you all have been doing great. Oh, great. One of my friends is calling me. I'll have to call her after I finish talking to you all. So let's start with Red Admiral. So as I film this, it's the end of the summer. I'm gonna start way back here. Ah, <laughs> just as I figured. Let me look at it in person. Actually, it's not too bad, but it is pretty powdery. I'll see if it's buildable. And again, Red Admiral, the blush. It looks really pretty on my blush brush. This is the small tapered blush brush by e.l.f. Hopefully you can see the label there. Okay, so where did I swatch it? Now that's bad. There we go. I see it. This was what I was concerned about. Um, it is not... Can I see it on my arm? Sure. But this is just as powdery as I thought it would be. And now I'm on my third bout with this blush. Can you see it? Sure. But with this color and the palette, I expected it to be way more intense. I think I'll try it on my face. I have blush on already and I'm a little oily. But we're going to try it. We're going to put it right on my cheek and see if I have some more success. Okay. <laughs> That's not bad. That's not bad. Do I have something to blend it with? Of course I don't on my face is far more noticeable. That's not bad. I do like an orangey blush. Yeah, that's actually pretty. I actually like that. I like an orangey blush, but um, it's pretty, but it does strike me as a little bit powdery. Just a little bit, not much. If you were trying out an orange blush for the first time, you didn't know how it would look on you, this would be a good one to start with because the whole palette is $5, mind you. So you're not gonna be breaking the bank to try a color that you may end up hating. I will be wiping my brush with the Color Switch Mini by Vera Mona. I got this in a bean box a while ago. I'll try to link that video up above if I am coherent enough to do so. Okay, so 
I love this too, by the way. This was a really, really good inclusion on the bean box. So yeah, Red Admiral. Um, you can barely see it on my arm. In my opinion, you all might see it more, but as I look into the camera, I can barely see it. But on my cheeks, yes, it's more noticeable. I also, to be fair, put it on top of already blushed cheeks, though the blush wasn't very strong on my face. So if I were to use it on its own, would it stand out as much? Probably not. Um, so yeah, Red Admiral, it's a bit, a bit, I say powdery, but the word I'm looking for actually is chalky, but it is powdery. As you can see, there's a lot of, a lot of fallout in the pan around it, but you kind of expect that, right? So just for snorts and giggles, I'll try this one up here. It's Fritillaries. And this looks more like a bit of a bronzer to me instead of a blush. That's what it looks like on the brush. I'm going to swap it, swap, swap it, swatch it right here. And that is a lovely shimmer in my skin tone. You cannot see it at all. Um, let's see. Let me just apply a little bit to my nose. You can see it a little bit, but I usually put blush on my nose. So you can see it a little bit, but this is not, this could, uh -huh. This could just be like an eyeshadow for me. That'll be just a step up from my skin tone. So nothing to write home about, but the color is pretty in the palette. This one also has a fair amount of fallout. Trust me when I say my expectations are fully managed. I did not expect high quality products for $5, but I thought the colors were pretty and I figured it would be fun. My daughter has the same palette, so I can't even say, oh, I'm going to give it to her. That's not true. She already has it to play around in because at $5, I bought us both one, right? Let's try. Now, here's the thing. With these palettes, blushes are generally a disappointment. But the highlighters can are kind of hit or miss as well as the eyeshadows. So let's try White Peacock right here. Oh, I picked up a lot picked up a lot of shimmer okay we're gonna just swatch it right here okay Oof, that is super powdery but of course i did pick up a lot <laughs> but that means it's also it's very light in the palette you can see a little bit it made oh my gosh i did not hit it super hard do you see all of the powder that is a super yeah that's a, a very um fallout ready color. Okay, we're going to put it on my face. We're going to just, okay, well, you know, I, I've got a heavy hand. Okay. It reminds me of the Rihanna one, the one that was yellow, like highlighter yellow. I can't remember the name of it. Was it like uh, gold? I want to say it was like gold digger. I can't remember the name of it, but um. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of that. It gives me the same look on my skin looking into the camera. Looking in person at my mirror, it's not bad, but it makes a lot of powder. And I already have a ton of highlighters that I like better. So that would never be like at the top of my list. It would be more so if everything in this palette, and I've got powder on my shirt, look at that. Anyway, you can barely see it, but I see it clearly. It would be more so if all the other colors were bomb. I'd take this and I would just use it because it's already in the palette. Not that I would make a special effort to use that particular shade or um, that particular highlighter. So now I'm hitting Swallowtail, which is more of a peachy champagne color, as you can see. I'm going to just put it directly on my face. I'm not going to swatch my arm and waste anybody's. Okay, that's really, really white. <laughs> In the palette, it is more peachy looking. But that is really white. Um, yeah, this is not a color I would ever use on my cheeks. This It looks pink, which is why I thought it would give more of a pinky look, but on me, it went straight to white. But when you when you study color theory, nothing surprises you, right? And it makes a lot of powder as well. These are some of the the most powdery. The they, oh. Okay. 
Let's go on to eyeshadows. And I'm going to make it quick because we're already at nine minutes. We're going to try this one. This is brown sugar, even though it's not brown at all. It's definitely burgundy. A good old burgundy shade. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Um, the next color I'm going to try is very similar. It's syrup. And so let me just hold them side by side. This is just a slightly deeper version of syrup. So syrup, I didn't clean my brush for. Basically, very slight difference on my skin. That's brown sugar. That's syrup. Okay. Hit this brush cleaner one more time. Let's play with the bright and the glitter and save everyone's time and see if this is something you should get. I'm already at like 70% no, but if Lemon Drop, which is this bright yellow, and Dark Byzantium are doing what they're supposed to do, I might say, yeah, it's worth it for $5, right? So I wiped my brush on. You know what? I'm not going to fool with it. Even though I cleaned it with my Veramona, it still looked like it had right much product on it. So Lemon Drop. Oh, that's really, really yellow. That could be good. Let's see. It is powdery. Oh, my goodness. And it is very much uh, ashy. Ah, well, nobody's surprised, right? $5, you get what you get. Um, so no to Lemon Drop. I was really looking forward to that because even though I don't do a super vivid eye very often, it'd be nice to have that option. The next color we're swatching is Dark Byzantium, which is the shimmery brown. Okay, that's what it looks like on the brush. That does not look good at all, but let's swatch it on my hand. Patchy, greasy, glittery. No one's surprised, right? It's definitely um, an oil-based product. Put some more on the brush. The brush even looks wet, even though I applied no water to any of it. Okay, the glitter does not apply smoothly at all. You know, who wants to try something fun? Okay, let's do, they have a really good purple, something that I would totally wear on my face, which is violet right over here. They didn't do any cute names for that. Um, but let's try violet. There's violet on the brush that I cleaned. And ciao. That's it built up. It does not look bad built up, but I'm going to tell you this in person, as I look at it, it is very unimpressive. So what can I say about this palette? Okay, you sat here with me. I wanted to just chit chat with you, as I said, ooh and ah over these. It's trash. Um, Very fun for experimenting with makeup. If you are not um, a makeup connoisseur yet, this will be fun to play around with for $5. It's fine. You'll probably find two or three things in this palette that are fun for you. But honestly, the quality is what you'd expect for $5. Malibu Glitz did their absolute least on this. The colors, though, the look of it, that's a gorgeous palette. And it has a bunch of colors that I would absolutely love to have in a palette. But these formulas are subpar. If they ever get their formulas right with this same color range, they'd be unstoppable because the colors are fabulous. I just, the powdery, chalky looking, kind of pasty looking, uneven application, exactly what you'd expect for the money. Trust me, I'm not sitting here whining about this because I thought I was going to get uh, top of the line. I know what I paid for it, but I thought I might be surprised and I wasn't. Cool. Okay. So... That's the Outshine palette by Malibu Glitz. I promise if you buy it, you won't outshine a soul. Anyway, have a great one. I'm going to see what I can do about toning down these very chalky uh, highlighters. And I will talk to you all soon. Take care. Bye-bye.